Is it gonna be yo in your business as a survival hunter? Gonna be first up versus Delamant. Not playing elemental, he's definitely playing enhanced. We're popping off the earth elemental immediately. This is gonna be trying to see if he can maybe get a setup onto India business. Who's gonna get in his business? Getting to stun up with the shackles of malediction after potentially maybe a sunder for Delamon. Does go for a sunder. No stun totem to follow. It's gonna be a totem down. I think it was a counter strike totem, but it's gonna be eliminated by India business. Drinking out of Delamon out of the freezing traps. So maybe the shaman has put himself in a position where he might lose, but actually big person or India business as the survival hunter does dip low in health. It's gonna get himself as much self healing as possible. Trying to see if he can camo out of there. Delamon catching up on all the health. Plenty of maelstrom, plenty of damage. Got those wind strikes, and it's gonna be turtle shell for in your business. Needs to find a way to trap a element or do something about it. Trying to keep him in place. Freeze the earth elemental, not perfect into a faint death. Does give him a little bit of a defensive, but the lightning bolts and storm strikes are gonna end up taking them out. With Sensei charging out next in gaming campaign. How you doing, my man? Down, my man. I do, my dude. Galvin getting hit with the legs. I'm gonna be big. Spinner crank with a fist of fury, locking him down, dropping down the ca the capacitor totem to discharge as Sensei blasting those fists into the face of that shaman, but just couldn't quite get. Uh, you can't control capacitor. If only you could get capacitor like proc earlier, right? Get it to be a fast CC. Leg sweep onto Sensei. He is an org, though, so he's gonna be able to pour it out of there, not sitting stun long at all. It is still DR from the capacitor earlier. Wop. Wop, I guess. W Wop. Wind Walker OP. <laughs> OP. I guess we'll call him OP, actually, yeah? Because it's Wind Walker OP. It's going to be up next. Trying to go for the Leg Sweep lockdown with his win. Going to be Fist of Fury flying from Fist of Fury. Both of them are blasting each other. Going to be a knockdown by Sensei as Wind Walker OP. Charging in there with a jab. Looks like he's not thinking of maybe chasing after Sensei. Letting him get a bit of a reset. As both of them have flash crafts. In cap onto OP. BDB down. Gonna be a Lexi immediate trinket with a port as Sensei trying to see if he can change, but looks like as soon as he sees that Wind Walker OP blasted out of there completely, got himself out of there, he's just gonna go for a reset. OP has, I think, a flush cuff still, or maybe just waned off through auto attacks. Gonna be a big lockdown by Sensei. Waited out that minute for a burst, and it's gonna be just all in onto Wind Walker OP. Taking him out. He knew as soon as he got a trinket out of him. He was able to take him out fairly quickly. Wolfie is gonna be up next. Not using Ghost Tools, just actually didn't use Ghost Tools yet. It's gonna be playing Ascendance. That's gonna be interesting. Using the Thunder Charge, I believe it's called, to get cooldown reduction. I believe it's called Thunder Charge. I could be wrong. Big, big Ascendance burst coming out for Wolfie. Should be able to get unparried with those wind strikes. I believe the auto attacks don't get parried either do they sense they using the totem left by wolfie to try to see if he can get out of there he's using those jabs in order to move around trying to see if he maybe juke away from the shaman sunder by wolfie as he's looking to get next to sensei looking to maybe lock him down sensei just generating plenty of chi from that earth elemental and it's going to be given wolfie a little bit extra defense to work with scap out the totem dropping in but sensei rolling out of there looking for a reset himself leaving a ring of boopity bop to boop wolfie away and it's going to be really down to the monk choosing when he wants to fight wolfie immediate trinket for that leg sweep going to be the counter strike totem sensei if he sticks around next to the totem he's going to be end up he's going to end up doing damage to himself it looked like he took the, the damage to the totem and then bailed out of there anyway going to be a little bit of shackles about addiction onto wolfie trying to see if he maybe can go for the venti or teleport burst thunder onto sensei as it drops in a defensive for diffuse magic trying to get a full flash capped up and running going to be a short interrupt for wolfie at the last second of the flesh cut and sensei should still be able to survive this for a bit i think he channeled flesh cup we just can't see that flesh cup around him yet is that what's going on? i think that might be the case because this is how thing going nowhere will we try to see if he can catch back up get himself a little bit of healing rolling dropping down the healing totem to amp seals i guess i'd say taking down these totems i think he understands that these totems are going to give wolfie not only more healing but also healing buff Capacitor totem coming down. Sensei actually takes a second to take it out. Gonna be Wolfie dropping even more totems, and those totems are actually continuously getting killed by Sensei. He gets plenty of chi out of them, but he's just, I guess, focusing on totems, making sure there's no utility for Wolfie, whether it is Wind Fury, whether it is anything. Wolfie sending out Ghost Wolves. The wolves are unable to stay on Sensei, though. He rolls out of there completely. Literally moves to another Zipko with a dragon kick and a roll. 
And he's just waiting for his cooldowns to be back up full. BDB burst onto Wolfie. He is an orcs. He's not going to be sending stuff. So going to big. Rise is sucking for the one dragon punch. Wolfie's in a bad spot. Needs to go for big healing. Does have the mail sir, to keep himself rolling though. Sunder for Sensei. Does not have a stun to follow. It's going to be Zoen. Images. Sensei still has a lot of pressure available. With a karma. Wolfie is out of mana completely. But is living on the wall. Getting interrupted on Shadow. Should be able to cast Nature Spells. But he doesn't have the mana for it. Counter Strike Totem. Back to Sensei. Going to take a bit of damage from the Counter Strike. Looks like he take, eliminates the Counter Strike and rolls out of there immediately. Sensei still continues to put pressure onto Wolfie. Has Wolfie in super low health. It's going to land a touch of death at the very, very end. And just get out of there. Not very charging out. Why is the name Not Furry? That's a demon hunter. In cap onto Not Furry. I see he elongates himself. <laughs> I love how. The Mills did summon you with animations whenever you get trapped or in cap by monk paralysis. And. <laughs> the, the, some of the wonkiness and the stretchiness of demon hunters is just hilarious to see stun onto sensei as a do pop a ford brew a big defensive here with a shield on top of it as they don't have a lot of defenses of their own lexi punch is not fair i think he's hoping to get a trinket out of him not going to be getting a trinket out of the demon hunter going to be an i-beam as the demon hunter is not giving sensei a lot of breathing room just continue the pressure continue to not let him go anywhere not fair is going to get in cap yet again in cap Prison onto Sensei around the corner. Does not Furry have maybe a stunt to follow? He just wants to be on top of Sensei. Sensei doesn't go anywhere without board. He thought he would go places. Gonna be a ring of peace. It's gonna be tricked out with not Furry. Again, able to stay on him for the most part. Interrupted him on our flesh cap. Sensei waiting for some cooldowns available. Does he have a leg sweep here? He does not have a leg sweep. Does get the images, but I think it might be over him. And not Furry does end up taking him out with Benny the Jet. Gonna be up next. Trying to jet it over. Taking Rock Furry out. What the? Wait, why is Windwalker OP out here? Oh, Windwalker OP, I think, wanted to come back just to watch the duels. But I don't think he was trying to play. But the Rogue, I guess, got two kills? Weird. But I guess it works. What's his name? O F Q. Q. I guess we got a Q over here versus Benny. Dude, Benny's so aggressive. Look how aggressive he's just going from one guy to the next to the next. You're just going super aggressive, not looking for reset, just going in full of defensive, popped off, and just maximizing the damage, maximizing the shadow strikes he's getting. Quick blind onto Q. Let's get trinkets out of it. Next time could be pretty deadly for the paladin. Does have blessing protection and bubble. Does Benny have a way out of it though? This man is so aggressive, he already burned vanish. I think he burned vanish just to get 100 percent crit chance. Stun onto Benny. It looks like Q is gonna end up taking him out with a big cleave as a Necrolord. Wow, eight minutes passed. We down to Q on team two, and we got Chicago TKO over on team one as an orc shaman. I like that mog a lot. I like the weapons too. They're massive. They're just humongous. It's gonna be Q not letting Chicago get a lot of a break here. Just gonna get aggressive, taking the momentum away from the rogue onto the shaman. Just doesn't want to give him a chance at all. Chicago's gotta just start playing this a little more defensively, playing that elemental wolf build. Or rather, Raptor. Since that's the pets that they summon. And it's going to be able to at least get a lot of mail. So I'm going to be Q landing us on Chicago. Trying to go for the big procs. The Necro Lord not getting the big Divine Storm procs. Still holding on to Bubble as well as Blessing of Protection. In order to be able to survive the damage on Chicago. Bubble definitely going to do work. Blessing of Protection is going to get purged out pretty quickly. But still, you do have at least some sort of immunity to melee physical attacks for a bit. Sorta, of, kinda. Shield him in itself for Q. Setting up a big gavel versus Chicago. Could potentially maybe be a stun. Does Q have a big go? That is still Shield of Vengeance on him. Wants to get that shield to pop next to Chicago, but Chicago's not letting that happen. It's gonna be popping away as Ghost Raptors are gonna be eating at that shield. Flesh kept interrupted. Next auto is gonna give you wings. Could be a potentially huge damage. Does Chicago have a trick? They do. Do they use it right here though? Looks like Q does not have the burst here, but maybe you just tried to set up instead of using damage burst abilities. Definitely needed some kind of a setup. In order to maximize the damage and just couldn't have a go to immediately. Chicago with a flash card getting rebuked by the Paladin. But the Paladin that puts himself out in the open. Chicago does not have a lot of mana. I don't know how they're on Maelstrom, but definitely don't have a lot of mana. And Q gives himself a bit of a reset. It needs to generate a lot of resources with the Holy Power. Go for as many Word of Glory to try to see if you can recover. We are at 10 minutes into the duel. 31% damp, but the Ghost Raptors join in. There goes the Bubble SQ. Starting to feel the pressure. Starting to feel the ramp up. The sustain from the Raptors from Chicago. And Q no longer has any major defenses. He needs to go for wings and get himself as much self healing as possible. Drake for Chicago with a Sunder. Q can be in a bad spot. Do they go for Word of Glory? Looks like Chicago ends up taking him out. That's a lot of shamans on both teams, by the way. Two shamans on one, one on the other. 
and sensei with three kills benny with the two just kind of getting in there jetting in and just blasting as many people as they can back to back to back that rogue's out bloodless yeah that rogue's out for bloodless for certain all right boys let's get another open running yeah